Hi Libra. Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. My name is Jennifer and I am happy to do your love reading for August 1st through August 15th, 2019. So instead of doing a bunch of blabbering, let's get right to it. Let's get those energies. Spirits, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. August 1st to August 15th, 2019, please. Love energies for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love energies, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. August 1st through August 15th, 2019. What's going on, Spirit? Please. Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. August 1st through August 15th. Love energies. All right. Let's see what we got, Libra. Your love interest, how they see you for this time period of August 1st through August 15th is the Nine of Swords. Currently in reverse. I will go back with my pendulum and just check what direction these cards are supposed to be in. How your love interest feels about you though, the Queen of Cups. It's like they're in love. Significant past, Libra, that's led up to the current energy between you and your partner, or love interest I mean. There was some overthinking going on with this Eight of Swords. Oh, I'm no stranger to that overthinking. <laughs> and uh, the current energy between you and your love interest, Libra, the magician. Somebody doing some manifesting? Maybe. I just got somebody might actually be doing some kind of magic. Somebody could be legitimately trying to manifest something with, you know, energetically, like with some knowledge about it, you know? Uh your the action that your love interest is most likely to take towards you in the time period of August 1st through August 15th is the three of wands y'all may be at a distance from each other uh you might they might just wait be waiting it out for something but let's you know we'll we'll look into it in a sec and then your advice Libra in regards to this person and this situation for this time period of August 1st through August 15th is the nine of wands currently in reverse and then your outcome drum roll please let's see we're gonna get two more cards on this too if it doesn't give us much information but your outcome for august 1st through august 15th 2019 is the king of swords in reverse right now okay bottom of the deck energy seven of wands somebody might be blocked being defensive some fighting going on this is a very defensive energy and like i said it could indicate somebody's blocked okay so let me see what spirit says about the, the position of these cards spirit upright or reverse the seven of wands please the nine of swords the queen of cups The Eight of Swords, The Magician, The Three of Wands, The Nine of Wands, and The King of Swords. So all the cards should be upright except for the Nine of Swords. All right, thank you so much. Okay, so how your love interest sees you, Libra, for this time period, they see you're getting over something, because this card this way is some severe anxiety and uh, sleepless nights, so they see you as getting past that, okay, which is good. How they feel about you, again, the Queen of Cups, there's definitely love here, they definitely love you, they might not be showing it completely the cup is closed here in this card but they definitely love you okay and like i said significant past it's led up to this current energy is somebody was really overthinking stuck up in their head unable to pretty much felt like they were unable to move 
okay? And then, but right now, somebody, like I said, is trying to manifest something. Somebody has all the tools that they need to manifest whatever it is they're trying to do with this relationship, okay? And that's the energy around you guys. So maybe it's the two of you together. Yeah, you guys got what it takes. That just came to me. That's for somebody, all right? You both have what it takes. All right, so like I said, actually they're most likely to make towards you. We'll get a couple more cards on this, but it looks like they're going to be uh, waiting at this point. Maybe they're waiting on you to reach out. I don't know. We got to get some more cards, okay? And then your advice, do you got one F left, Libra? Because uh, that's your advice. You know, give it one more shot. You, I know you're tired. The universe knows you're tired and you're beat down. But you got a little bit of fight left in you and they're advising you to do it, to fight, to fight. Perhaps that is the over why this is the overall energy. This is also can be the energy of fighting for something. So maybe you're being advised to fight for something. Give it one more shot. Okay. And your outcome is the King of Swords. You might be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, male or female. Um, and so this may be the person that you win at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the time period. Or this could just be some truth coming out. Somebody standing up for truth. Let's get some more cards. Why waste any time? Let's go ahead and get some more cards, all right? See what else we can find out. All right, Spirit up um, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 1st through August 15th, 2019. Love energies, please clarify these cards in the order that they are laid out. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 1st through August 15th. Love energies. Clarify these cards, please. All right, Libra. Okay, Libra. Clarifying that Nine of Swords in reverse for how they see you. The Ace of Swords currently in reverse. How they feel about you on top of that Queen of Cups. The Knight of Swords. The significant past that's led up to the current energy. Ooh, ouch. The Ten of Swords. We jumped from the Eight to the Ten, and we already got the Nine. You got the Eight, Nine, and Ten. Those are three of the bleakest cards in this deck, Libra. What is going on? All right, so your current energy between you and this person, uh, on top of that magician, is the Four of Cups. Somebody might be afraid to send an offer, might be afraid of rejection, but they do have everything that they need. They, they can manifest this. Or somebody has sent an offer and somebody is not accepting or rejecting it. Maybe it's you that's got this offer and you're just not sure. But the action that your love interest is most likely to take towards you in the period of August 1st through August 15th on top of that Three of Wands is the Two of Pentacles. And your advice, the Ten of Wands currently in reverse. On top of the Nine, by the way. We've got some consecutive stuff going on here. And then clarifying that King of Swords for your outcome is the Knight of Pentacles currently in reverse. Let's see. Overall energy, five of cups in reverse so far. Let's see what spirit says. All right, spirit, upright or reverse, the five of cups, please. Well, that's good news. Upright or reverse, the eight of, ace of swords, please. The knight of swords. The ten of swords. The four of cups. The Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles, please. All right, thank you so much. Okay, so yeah. 
clarifying this seven of wands that you're, I think, being advised to fight for something uh, and get over something. Um, your overall energy, you are getting over something. This energy is where you've been, I think. You or your or your love interest has been in this energy, which is, they call it the crying over spilled milk card. I don't really like that necessarily analogy, but I, I do... I do see what they mean because this man has two cups behind him still that he's not noticing. He's focusing on what's been lost. So that's the current energy or that was the energy. The current energy is that I like to envision this guy is now turned around since the card's upside down. He's turned around and he's finally sees the two cups that have been behind him the whole time. Okay. Something that may be worth fighting for. Okay. So that's your, your overall energy, how your love interest sees you. They see you as coming out of this ang anxious, anxiety, up at night energy and starting to think more clearly. You're finally starting to come out of this fog. This is like a fog that you just, you can't even escape, but you are escaping it and you are thinking much more clearly now, okay? And, or a truth, also a truth may have just come out. You may be demanding truth with this Ace of Swords, and you also may be getting ready to wield this sword to cut this person out. Just that's a side note for some of you, but I do feel like for many of you, they see you as finally thinking clearly, okay? And then how they feel about you, yeah, they, they love you, and they may want to rush in and tell you, or they may love you, but they want to rush in and tell you off about something. Just because somebody loves you don't mean you don't need to hear something that they don't have. They can't, you know, doesn't mean they can't get mad at you. Doesn't mean that they, you know, can't tell you off. So they may either want to tell you off. It's going to be some very fast communication, some energy that's going to sweep in. But they do love you. And since this is how they feel about you, I feel like they want to rush in and tell you that they love you. Okay. And then... The significant events in the past that have led up to the current energy, somebody was overthinking, but there was some sort of betrayal. So perhaps the overthinking was about the betrayal, or maybe somebody was overthinking and thought there was a betrayal, and there wasn't really, but it felt like it to this person. For some of you, that may be the case, but for some of you, most definitely there was a betrayal of some sort, or there was at least, it doesn't necessarily have to be a betrayal it is, that is inherent in this card. However, it's just terrible energy. It's just a very terrible pain. It's, it's excruciating mental and emotional pain. Okay. So, and it's also indicates the end of a cycle. So y'all have been in some kind of cycle and it's completed. It was completed and it was very painful and I'm sorry for you. So whoever it was that was feeling that pain, usually when one of you feel it, the other one does. Even if somebody is the cause of the hurt, usually when everything comes out and everything, both people are hurting. Even the person that was doing the wrong. Okay. <clears throat> so your current energy. Somebody's trying to manifest. I feel like somebody wants to manifest, you know, this relationship back to health. And they may be feeling about sending, thinking about sending an offer to you or you them, and they're a little bit afraid that it might be rejected after this Ten of Swords energy that y'all been going through, okay? Uh, or this person is trying to manifest and has already sent an offer and it is it has not been accepted or rejected. It could have been rejected, but it, it's an also an energy of contemplation. So somebody may be thinking it over. And I feel like it might actually be... Uh, well, it, it, the energies can, inter, you know, go back and forth, so I'm not sure, but it looks like, it looks like maybe this person was the one that was hurt. Now, for some of you, I know it was you that was hurt. I do. But whoever was hurt, I think needs some time. I feel like the person that did the hurting sent an offer, okay, or is trying to manifest a comeback, you know, a, manifest this relationship back to health and has, you know, Put the cards on the table, send an offer, and this person is going to be thinking about it. So over the period, I mean, I, I still have to get another card, but that's what I feel like. This person is going to be waiting it out, thinking about it, weighing the pros and cons over this period of August 1st through August 15th, okay? That's what I feel. And then your advice is to release the burden. 
Make sure you still got a little bit of energy left for this fight that you have, so you, you're ready to fight for it, but release the burden. It's another 10, by the way, another, another indication of the end of a cycle here. Even though it's in the reverse, <clears throat> it doesn't mean that it's not, that that cycle's not over. The cycle's over, but it doesn't mean the relationship is over, and you're being told, advised to release this burden, okay? Doesn't mean the person is a burden, but the burden, whatever's burdening you about this situation, you need to release it and you need to, where you're being advised that you do have a little bit of fight left in you and, you know, fight for it. And I don't think spirit usually tells you to fight for stuff that you can't, you know, to participate in fights that you can't win. So if you're trying to fight for this relationship and manifest it back to health, then I believe you can. Okay. So it looks like your outcome here is this Knight of Pentacles. Very slow moving energy. Okay. In fact, I always joke that, you know, yeah, sure. When he gets there, he brings the goods. But will you still be there waiting when he gets there? Because, I mean, gosh, my hair could grow, fall out, grow gray, you know, and like uh, I'd be old and decrepit waiting for this guy. Okay, so I don't know, but he is very slow moving energy, but it's because he's cautious and that's great. It's all admirable, but it, it, when you're waiting for this guy, it is excruciating. Okay, but either way, okay, I think a truth is going to come out. You may, this may be a person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This may be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and uh, it, you may have, you may see this, this air sign actually coming to you to bring you something stable perhaps, or you're the, you are an air sign. So, uh, this could be you offering the pentacle to this person. Okay. Let's get another card, Libra. It's all about the, the next card, isn't it? It's always about that next card. <laughs> Let's get that next card. Okay. So Libra, sun, moon, rising and Venus, August 1st through August 15th, 2019. Love energies, please clarify these cards. In the order that they're laying, please. Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. August 1st through August 15th, 2019. Oops. I'm not wanting to shuffle. Okay. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Love energies. August 1st through August 15th, 2019. Okay. Let's see, Libra, how they see you. The Seven of Swords, currently in reverse. How they feel about you, judgment. Somebody wants a comeback, a reunion, a resurrection of something that was dead. Significant past. Oh, I feel like this is going to stay in the reverse, probably. I don't know. We'll see, but I feel like somebody just wasn't manifesting. <laughs> Something wasn't manifesting. Uh, current energy. Oh, here he is. He's on his way, Libra. He's on his way. That is great that we see this in the current energy and then we see it manifesting at the end with the outcome. That's cool. I like it. All right. And then the action that they're most likely to take towards you, the sun. Woohoo. That's good. Maybe they're taking a vacation. Uh, your advice. The Five of Cups in reverse again. Amplifying this card here. Okay, yep. You got to get over it, Libra. Get over it and get ready for that last fight, okay? And then clarifying, I'm sorry, yes, clarifying your outcome. <gasps> oh, I hope this goes upright. That's awesome, Libra. I feel like it is because the, the other two cards are upright. Two of Cups. Good job. That's awesome. And your overall energy? The Knight of Wands. All right, so let's see. Spirit, upright or reverse? The Knight of Wands, please. The Seven of Swords. Judgment. The Magician. The Knight of Pentacles. The sun, the five of cups, the 
And the Two of Cups. Yay! Awesome. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> All right, Libra, it's looking good. It's looking real good. Okay, so looks like some passion's coming back. If you put that fight in and you start stop focusing on the negatives, some passion's coming back. You guys have not lost the spark. The spark is still there, waiting to come out. Okay, waiting to be manifested. All right, but how they see you... They do see you as a little bit sneaky, or uh, this could be that you're just like denying feelings. You could be denying feelings or trying to escape your feelings. Uh, maybe this was you trying to escape your feelings and now you're not anymore. You're clear, but they see you as once having denied your feelings or tried to escape them, or they could see you as sneaky, sneaky. Let's put these together. Hold on a second. So they see you as getting over something, maybe wielding the sword of truth because you found out that they were sneaky. Perhaps this truth came out. Somebody was doing some less than honest, you know, there were some less than honest goings on, basically, and they see that, okay? Again, the energies can be reversed, so that could be the way you see them, but the general placement for most of you, it's how they see you. All right, how they feel about you, yeah. If y'all are separated, they want to resurrect this. They want to bring it back. They love you, and they they want to rush in and bring it back, okay? The significant past, yeah. Somebody was overthinking something. There was, I mean, if you're in this, you're definitely going to be in this. If there's a Ten of Swords, I mean, I don't know too many people that aren't going to be overthinking about that. But something just wasn't manifesting, unfortunately, and it was very painful for somebody, okay? You didn't have what it takes at that point. Maybe you guys didn't have what it takes. Something was off, okay? And then the current energy is that you do have what it takes now and that somebody's thinking about this offer. They want to offer a pinnacle, okay? So I feel like since this is here, whoever it is that's coming in in the, in the outcome, whoever it whoever it is, I feel like it's one of you is trying to offer this pinnacle to the other one. They want to offer it, but they're afraid of being rejected. But you do have everything that it takes to manifest this. You should just do it. Be confident. Okay. Or one of you sent the offer. Okay. And the other one has not accepted or rejected it yet. But I feel that somebody, one of you is going to come forward and speak their feelings, speak their truth, and offer something to the other. But during the time period of August 1st through 15th, I mean, what your love interest is thinking about doing, I feel that they are waiting. They are balancing, you know, pros and cons, weighing the pros and cons to decide what makes them happy, basically. Okay. But it looks like they're thinking about offering that pinnacle. While they're doing it, they're thinking of offering that pinnacle. You're being advised to stop focusing on the negative, okay? Start, let, let release the burden. Stop focusing on the negative and get ready for this last fight that you've got. You've got that one F left. Be ready to use it. <laughs> and then your outcome, Libra, the two of freaking cups, okay? How beautiful is that, all right? So it looks like, it, and you may, it may be with this with this air sign. You may be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And this air sign wants to bring you this pentacle because they want this two of cups with you. How awesome is that? Or this could be you wanting to offer the pentacle to the other person because you want that two of cups. But either way, this is the outcome. So the offer is going to be made, okay? And I feel like it's going to be accepted, and you guys are going to be the two of cups. How awesome is that? Great reading, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. If it didn't, please check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs. See if something uh, resonates there. And I will see you in a couple of weeks for the last, last half of August. Thank you so much. Bye.